Good morning and happy Saturday to you. My name is James. I am your U.S. racing expert for bettinggods.com. Back again to talk to you about some terrific stakes action from Belmont Park. Uh, super excited to get into the races. We have uh, the Grade One Metropolitan Mile, met the Metropolitan Handicap. Uh, it turned out to be a terrific race, so we're going to get into that as well as a few other races today. Um, before I get into it, if you're not yet a member of bettinggods.com, what are you waiting for? If you like money, go here. That's b e t t i n g g o d s dot com. They have 17 different tipsters for sports ranging from horse racing to greyhound racing to basketball to soccer to cricket to ice hockey. Chances are, if you can think of a sport, they've got a tipster that is an expert in that specific sport. So bettinggods.com, get a discounted rate in your sport of choice today. Uh, I'm going to start sharing my screen now as I get into our races from Belmont. And the first race we're going to talk about today is actually race two from Belmont Park. And this is going to be run at a mile and a 16th on the turf. And the horse we like is the one Bala Rocks. Now Bala Rocks has been running, um, these are Bala Rocks' speed figures here. And you'll notice that the speed figures have declined a little bit since 2017, 2018. In the past, he was running the hundreds. Now he's running in the low 90s but still running quite well. Uh, Ballarock's most recent start was really what made me lean his way today. And I'll show you what that looks like and what I, what I saw with that. In his last start, Ballarock's faced a horse named Set Piece. Set Piece was making his North American debut for trainer Brad Cox. Now, Ballarock's ran his first quarter in 25, second quarter in 24 and one, his third quarter in 23, and he finished up in 22 and two. That is a fast closing fraction. And to lose that race to set piece, set piece has got to be some horse. I'm really looking forward to seeing him come back. But closing in 22 and two, that's quite a closing kick. And there's some speed set up in this race. I think Ballarox is going to be primed and ready uh, to take this field by storm. And in the States, we have what's called entries, where you get two for the price of one. Let me clear this out. So here, where you see the 1A, you also have uh, Tribuven. So if you're betting in the States, Tribuven, you'll get as well as Bell Rocks. It's a two, two for the price of one deal. Uh, Tribuven is is pretty remarkable horse as well. His last start, you can cross out where he had a broken rein and had to pull up. But before that, he ran third, a fast closing third to a horse named Largent. And uh, Largent is going to be a stakes winner. Temple won his very next race. So we're going to go with Ballarox over Tribuven in that second race at Belmont Park. Next, we're going to move to race number four. This is going to be run at a mile and an eighth on the turf. And here we like a long shot. It's going to take a little creativity. Uh, but we're going to go with the number two, Grand Caymano. Grand Caymano is listed as 20 to 1 on our morning line in the States. Uh, but your bookmaker might have different odds. Our, if, if you look to his inside, you'll see Mr. Jaggers. And if you compare the speed figures, there's really no competition. Grand Caymano looks a little bit outclassed here. But that's why I said it takes a little bit of imagination uh, and a little bit of digging. First, trainer Susan Cooney used to train Grand Caymano since he has been transferred to the barn of Horatio de Paz. Horatio de Paz has, has really been putting up strong numbers in this Belmont meet, and he made a lot of changes with Grand Caymano, including putting blinkers on, going with Lasix, the, the race day medication, gelding Grand Caymano, uh, so he's made quite a few changes, and he's also put on one of the best riders around, Jockey Jose Ortiz. So a lot going on with Grand Caymano. Uh, if you take a look at his workouts, he's worked a bullet here at Pimlico in Maryland. 
he could have very easily run this horse in Maryland, but he decided to ship him up versus stronger company in the New York area. There might be something up with Grand Cayman Owen at 20 to 1. I'm looking forward to finding out. I have some other statistics to share with you here. This is a stat that I ran for trainer Horacio de Paz. And just in the last two weeks, he's run four horses. He's finished in the money three times and he's had two wins. So that's nice to see. And if you take a look at his wins, these horses had quite a few days off in between their last starts. Now, light in the sky, he didn't win. He ran second. He lost by a neck, but he was 10 to one. I'll take that. Worth a shot. He won. So, again, trainer Horacio de Paz is, is doing pretty well. He's got some nice recency. And the other stat that I ran for this trainer is, it was this. For horses that came to his barn, first start after a trainer change using today's jockey, Jose Ortiz, on the turf, he's – Finished in the money twice. He's two for two in the money. Now, if you dig, dig a little deeper, in one race he finished second, losing by just a little bit over a length at huge odds of 28 to 1. Light in the, and that was at 595 days off. Light in the sky had 250 days off. He also ran second. He lost by a neck at, at 10 to 1. So at at odds of that, that are going to be pretty generous tomorrow for uh, Grand Cayman. I think he's worth taking a shot for sure. He's got a lot of, of question marks around him, and the field really doesn't look uh, too imposing. So next, we're going to move to race eight, which is the Grade Three Poker Handicap that is run at one mile on the turf, and the horse that I like is Value Proposition. Value proposition is right here. Trained by uh, the immortal Chad Brown, 24% trainer. Jockey is uh, Iran Ortiz, and he's won three or four starts. And I like to watch races before I, I go over before I go over each race for these videos. So for the first time, I'm actually going to share the video that I have. I'm going to share my screen. So hopefully this works. It should just take a moment. So we're going to take a look at Value Proposition's most recent race. And the horse we're looking at is right, he's running about sixth right now. He's on the outside in the red and white silks. In this race, the horse threw his jockey early, and you see there's a loose horse there. But value proposition, he's taken wide. Again, he's in the red and white on the outside. He's coming with a big blaze face there. Now, watch this run that this horse puts in, and, and nice action. He, the jockey had to pull him off a little bit, but once he gets him going, he just motors down. He's running down actually one of the horses that he's facing today who had a pretty easy lead. And he won, and he had something in reserve. The jockey wasn't urging him at the end. For that reason, we're going with value proposition as I stop this video here. The race should be difficult. Uh, I mean, it, it shouldn't be too difficult as a grade three, but it should be an exciting one nevertheless. We're going to go to stop sharing the screen. And once again, we're going to go back to the photos. That was our first time showing a video, so hopefully you enjoy that. The next race we're going to take a look at is race nine. It's the feature race of the day. It's the grade one Metropolitan Mile, the Met Mile, at one mile on the main track. And it's a very tough race. I went back and forth. With a couple of these horses. Ultimately, I ended up with Code of Honor, who I feel is being a little disrespected in this spot. Now, Code of Honor, uh, he's 
won 11 times. He's won six of those starts. He's won over $2.4 million. He's done very little wrong in his career. At Belmont Park, he is three for four with a second place finish with a 106 speed figure here. Uh, at the distance, he's won as well. Trainer Shug McGehee is winning at a rate of 32%. John Velasquez is here to ride. Together, they combined for 36%. What I like most about Code of Honor is that I think the race is going to set up well for him. There are several other horses in this field that are going to go to the lead, and these are horses that are slow. Vekoma is a very fast horse. He's going to go to the lead. Mr. Freeze is a very fast horse. He will as well. Warrior's Charge is likely to also go to the lead. Uh, McKinsey was the, another horse that I was wrestling with using here. I have a feeling he's going to be pretty close to the lead as well because trainer Bob Baffert likes to have his horses near the front. It doesn't leave very many horses closing from behind, but Code of Honor has the best closing kick in the field with, with this 119 right here. For that reason, I'm picking Code of Honor to win the Met Mile. As we clear this out and we move to our final race of the day where we like a long shot. This is race 11 on the card, the Suburban Handicap, run at a mile and a quarter on the main track. And I like a horse named Forewarned. And I'm gonna show you why in just a moment now. If you take a look at his running lines, what I like about Forewarned is his consistency, 97, 92, 95, 93, 94, 90, 94, 87, 91. He's been running very consistently. In his most recent start, he actually finished right behind Code of Honor, who we liked in the Metropolitan Mile. Here he's, uh, he has a morning line odds of 30 to 1. I'm sure he'll be higher than that. But that consistency is something that not everyone in the, this race has, and, and the favorites here are, are pretty suspect. I mean, just compared to his neighbor, uh, his next door neighbor, Parsimony, take a look at the speed numbers that Parsimony's putting up. He doesn't look as fast as forewarned. If you look past them, some of the other horses running in this race, you have our, our nine to five morning line favorite, Tacitus, and even him, he's our nine to five favorite, and the last race he won is way back in 2019, the Wood Memorial. He hasn't won a race since then, but his speed numbers aren't that far off that 30 to one shot in forewarned. He had a couple of hundreds here, but that's four or five points off what forewarned has been doing. Um, if you take a look at some other horses in this race, how about Mr. Buff? He's our second favorite. Now, Mr. Buff probably has the highest speed figures in the race with a couple of hundreds here, but Mr. Buff has not proven that he can get distance of a mile and a quarter. As a matter of fact, he's never run the distance, and he's projected to be on or near the lead. Uh, every time he has ventured outside of State Bread Company, he's had some trouble. If you take a look at this grade two at the fairgrounds in New Orleans, he ran ninth. If you take a look at this grade one, the Woodward Stakes, he finished seventh. The Clark Handicap, he tried it again, and he lost badly. So Mr. Buff at low odds is another one that I would have a tough time taking. Jovea, his numbers don't generally look too close to forewarned. I mean, he's got 194 here and a 93 here. But our 30 to 1 shot has, seems to have better numbers than him as well. Uh, even Sir Winston, who's lined at 7 to 2, he's got an 89, 93. It, Enough evidence is here to make it a strong case for forewarned. Uh, as I clear this out one more time, we'll move to the, the last two runners in this field. Just Whistle, again, very similar numbers. It, not worse. Forewarned was in the, the mid-90s, very consistently. Moretti, he's in the high 80s. He had one mid-90 number here. So... At high odds, it's certainly worth taking a chance. At this point, I'll stop sharing my content because that was the last race that we were going over. I hope you enjoyed uh, today's video. 
please drop me a comment uh, in the YouTube videos. I always like to hear from the members. Um, Saratoga is coming up. That's the boutique season that we have in the New York area where the best horses from around the country go. Uh, and that's going to be coming up in just a few weeks. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed doing them. Once again, this is James, your U.S. racing expert, signing off. Best of luck on the Saturday card from Belmont Park.